Well, it's Friday the 4th of November. It's a beautiful sunny day, a little bit crisp. It's three degrees today, but with the sun out, it doesn't feel too bad at all. I've got plenty of layers on. Dexter's got his harness on. I've took the chimney down. We've been here for a couple of days. Apart from the traffic in the daytime, it's lovely and quiet at night. We're going to go down, I'm going to go down through three locks towards May, Maysbury Marsh because we're meeting friends tonight for something to eat at the Navigation Inn. We've actually booked an extra couple of days on the Montgomery Canal so we can explore a bit more. Otherwise Anthony would have been going off to work in the morning, coming back at night, not seeing any of the Montgomery Canal at all. We've actually extended our stay by two days so we're going to get back off on Monday. I've got my windlass at the ready. I've got something to eat because the last time I did this on my own, I was starving. I may even make myself a cup of coffee. I've got my sunglasses as well. Wish me luck. Yeah, as soon as you get under that bridge, the scenery is so much nicer. Yeah, first lock coming up. This is only the second time that I've done locks on my own, but the weather's perfect, especially if you compare it to the weather that I had last week at the start of the Montgomery Canal. The original canal was partially open in 1796 and when it was fully open it ran all the way from Frankton Locks down to Newtown, a distance of 33 miles. Unfortunately there was a breach on the canal in 1936 and the canal became officially abandoned in 1944. Believe it or not, plans were put forward in 1969 to build a road on the bed of the canal to Welshpool. A committee opposed this and got in touch with the Shropshire Union Canal and volunteers started a big dig to try and restore the Montgomery Canal. While I was doing the locks on my own I just really slowly opened the gate paddles and let the water empty slowly while keeping an eye on the stern of the boat making sure it was forward of that sill. You can only navigate seven miles of the canal at the moment, but as you know, restoration work is being carried out and they're hoping that you can navigate the whole 33 mile section from Frankton Locks all the way down to Newtown, which would be just amazing. Right, I'm going to moor up at the lock landing and then close these gates behind me. I think they're far too heavy to use a barge pole.
done myself a cold drink now, I don't know about a coffee. I've just said to somebody, what a beautiful day, and they said, it's all right. How can this not be a beautiful day? It's November, the sun's shining, gorgeous blue sky, and look at the autumn colours. I think I'm turning into that glass half full person I used to be. Well, this lock's empty, so I need to fill it before I can take the bolt in, obviously. Do you know what? I could have easily stayed on the boat today and waited till Saturday to move, but so glad I've moved. It's absolutely gorgeous now that I'm out. And it's really nice to discover new areas. Come look at this. I've lost Dexter. He's probably found something interesting to smell. Look at that down there. There he is. They could do with some bricks on the floor that help you grip. <laughs> it's really slippy, especially with these leaves. Yeah, normally you get bricks on the floor. Like these that help your feet grip. There's only those set of three. The Montgomery, also known as the Monty, has several sites of special scientific interest. There are several nature reserves that border the canal and they're filled with wild flowers and insects, including dragonflies and damselflies. And along the canal you can see otters and water voles. I'd love to return in summer. Workout. I don't think I might do more than three or four locks a day. <laughs> Getting lazy in my old age. I can smell that dampness of autumn, which is really nice, especially combined with our fire. Make it sure. No. Look at this though. Beautiful.
done it. Uh oh, Dex, Dex is wagging his tail. Uh oh. The old lock keeper's hut. How photogenic is that? beautiful does she look in dapple light well I've just done the three locks at Aston took my time took a couple of hours but I've been doing some filming photography as well made myself a cup of coffee charge the batteries off we go again to Maysbury and to the navigation in wish me luck I nearly fell in there getting on the boat saying it this is beautiful i'm hoping the scenery gets a bit more dramatic soon i see some rolling hills off in the distance Dex down a tree i've got my coffee jobs are good and oh, it feels like i've got the canal to myself it's beautiful Thank you to all those people that have donated to our channel via Buy Me a Coffee. We really do appreciate it. I mean, nearly always spend the money on equipment for the channel. Anton's a bit gobsmacked how much those last microphones cost. Oh, I didn't tell you, did I? So the little Avelia microphones that we bought, I also got the wind muffs that go on them. Or so I thought. The wind muffs. <laughs> I don't open the box. You know, sometimes the picture looks bigger on the box than the item. It wasn't. They're about that. <laughs> it's for a mini mic road microphone on top of your camera. <laughs> Luckily, got a refund on that. Twenty-two pounds each. Oh, we're missing Pete and Caroline, Heidi, Helen, and Tony, Colin, and Debbie. Everyone we know from Fettlers, we're missing them. It was nice Martin Mandela came to see us the other night. That was nice. And guess what? We switched the TV off last night. I said to Anthony, why don't we have a game of cards? And we played Uno Flip. 
I think we should have a non-TV night once a week. I've been suggesting that for two years, like maybe a Wednesday. I know Anthony likes to relax, but it's not quality time, is it? Maybe have a game of chess and a row. Because <laughs> I didn't like to cheat. Not cheated as such, but he'll make a move and I'll say, checkmate. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. It's a bit late now. <laughs> Imagine that in the World Chess Championship. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and I give in to him. Soft touch. just to stay on the boat today. It was pretty cold, I didn't want to get the covers down. But this is amazing. Imagine if I just stayed in, staring at my computer screen all day. I'm hoping the internet is better up here. I've been uploading the vlog since yesterday afternoon and it's on 36%. A bumblebee. I love oak trees, I know we've said that before. There's an awful lot of oak trees been planted around this area and apparently it was for the barges. And I'm not sure, probably for the gates as well, but now we've mentioned that, have we? A lot of gates. Can you get anything quintessentially more English than an oak tree? And you've probably noticed, if you're in the UK this year, we've never seen so many acorns in our lives. Like, the floor's littered with them. So it's either been a bumper season because we've had a good summer, or is it because we're going to have a bad winter? I get criticised for going too slow under bridges. I think my long sight's faded. Perfect! What would Kev say? Thread the needle. Thread the needle. <laughs> this but you may be aware that Bickerstaff Boats uh, has now been sold to Elton Moss. It took about a year for the deal to go through and we sort of heard a rumour that Kev was selling Bickerstaff. Oh, I'm really gonna miss those guys. It was such a fun time getting our boat built and the launch day. We have such fond memories of that. We had a really good laugh. So Kev and Sue, if you're watching, we miss you guys. Get in touch. Yeah, and we wish them well, whatever they do in the future. I'm sure they'll be successful. But we're hoping that they get to spend more time together, whatever they choose to do. Yeah, I think Kev was such a workaholic. He'd be working six, seven days a week. And I know the other guys as well. Rob, John, Ryan, they work really, really hard. Maybe we need to have a ride up see what the new bolts look like. It's getting very close to the build date for our boat. They're a couple of weeks behind with the shell, but they've also already started building interior units. And the sofa that Liam's building for us. And a lot of people have asked recently, why are you selling your boat? It's only two years old. Well, if you go back to the video that we launched a few couple of months ago, called This Is It. Exciting news, even our parents don't know, which they didn't. 
We've been keeping an eye on Oakham's Narrowboats for a couple of years since we first saw them at Crick. Um, they won favourite boating show last year and this year. And we got chatting to the team and we loved what they do. And we were thinking of making some changes to our boat. We love it, but after being on it for two years, there are a few things that we'd like to change. Like when you're in a house, really. Nothing wrong with a house, but it's just nice to change things around, isn't it? And it's quite difficult on a boat without ripping a lot of things out. And we will be sad when this boat goes. I think I'd be very emotional, to be honest. I'm filling up now, I'm thinking about it. You know, a lot's gone on over the past two years in everybody's lives. The world's changed, hasn't it? Probably not for the better. But for us to go out and experience this scenery and the wildlife and have Dexter with us for longer days because we're working from the boat some of the time, it's just been amazing. I look back on the videos, the places we've been, Yorkshire, the Huddersfield Narrow, Peak Forest, the Leeds Liverpool. We've looked at all of it and some of it's been a challenge, but it's always added to the adventure. And I think one thing I'm really looking forward to more than anything, I know Anthony's looking forward to a bigger oven so he can do his baking, because we've got a, a Thetford midi-sized oven at the moment. I'm looking forward to having more light on the boat. We're going to have skylights. And it's, it is privacy glass, but it's a, a less... It's 15% shade instead of 25% which we currently have. And it can feel quite dark on this boat, especially in the winter months. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that flood of natural light. I'll have more glass to clean. <laughs> I'm hoping it's worth it. Liam, you need to come up with some self-cleaning glass. Oh yeah, this is nice. I nearly, well, we nearly turned around at the Queen's Head because I'm moored near the winding hole so we could back up to it and turn around if we wanted to. But I'm glad that I've done this. Just nice to say that we've done the Montgomery. And we don't have to worry about driving so we can actually have a drink at the pub tonight. Anthony's in work. <laughs> Steering with my hat again. Anthony's in work. So he's going to meet me when I get to the navigation in. I'll put it the past. We're quite lucky as well. It's the 4th of November today. Yeah. In three days, a lot of this canal will be closed for repairs. So we're going down today, heading back up tomorrow, and we'll be off on Monday morning. But it's only down this section that there's a few closures. Hiya. The Montgomery Canal was built for a different purpose than the rest of the canals around the UK. This old lime kiln on the right gives you a bit of a clue to the canal's history. It was mainly built to transport lime and this was used to improve the agricultural land around the Upper Severn Valley. Well I made it, I'm in Maysbury, that took a few hours but I took my time at the locks, really enjoyed it and it's given me a bit more confidence doing the locks on my own. I've moored about a 30 second walk, 60 second walk to the navigation in which is great because we've got friends meeting us tonight, we're going to get something to eat and we may have a drink or two. Well thanks for watching the video, hope you've enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any future videos and keep your comments coming. Have a great week. Anthony's back on Friday's vlog, so why not join us as we continue our journey down the Montgomery Canal. Oh, it's very windy. We travel as far as we can before seeing the new restoration work and speak to the project manager, David Carter. We'd like to say a big thank you to our Morning Star crew, who are Alison H, Jennifer Sherwood, Neil Murphy, Jenny Pugh, 
Craig JK, Donna Kelly, Jane Idell Cox, Diane Loy, Rick Meyer, Mike Miller, Sylvia Line, Kathy Lowe, Harry Penn, Jim Smith, Wayward, Glennis Mitchell, Tired and Snarky, and Will Getz. Thank you so much. <laughs>